Okay, in this video we're looking at part of section 5.2 and we're going to look at something called functions. We're going to define what a function is. This is outcome R2. Okay, so what is a function? Here's the definition. A function is a special relation where every element in the domain is associated with only one element in the range. Every element in the domain, that's the set of all inputs, is associated with only one element in the range, the set of all output values. Okay, in other words, whenever I input a value from the domain, I get a single response back, not multiple responses. Here's an example of a function. If I rode a unicycle to school today, you knew that I rode on one tire. I wouldn't say I rode a unicycle to school today and you'd say, oh, you rode on three or four or five. I don't know. No, you know for a fact that I only rode in on one tire. Similarly, if I said I rode in on a bicycle today, you would know for certain that I rode in on two wheels. If I rode in on a tricycle, well, that'd be a little strange but I only took three wheels. And for a recumbent, that is a special kind of bike where you kind of relax back, you know, lean back, it's kind of neat. Those also have three wheels. Now notice just because tricycle and recumbent share the same result in the range, this is still a function. Because when I input a value of tricycle, the result is three. And when I input a value of recumbent, the result is three. In other words, the result is predictable. So in the rest of the video, we're going to ask one question. Is this a function? It's a yes, no question. We're going to try one at a time. Remember, a function is a special relation where every element of the domain is associated with only one element in the range. So I'm going to ask the question, is this a function, yes or no? You have five seconds to choose. Okay, the answer, no, this is not a function. And there's a reason, Mr. Bailey. Mr. Bailey teaches both biology and wilderness. So as a relation, this is a little bit confusing. If you told me, I just came from class with Mr. Bailey, I would not be able to tell you with absolute certainty what your prior class had been. However, if you said, hey, I just came from an awesome math class with Mr. Morrow, well, other than the fact that you just gave away that it was a math class, I would know with absolute certainty, since he only teaches math classes, that that must have been the class you came from. So the reason this fails to be a function is that Mr. Bailey's classes are unclear. Mr. Bailey is an element in the domain, and he is associated with two elements in the range. Next question again, is this a function? Again, I have a domain, the number of hamburgers you purchase one particular day, and the range is the associated cost. Well, is this a function? You have five seconds. And the answer is yes. This is a function. Every time you choose a number of hamburgers, like two for example, you know with absolute certainty what the cost is that's associated with that number of hamburgers. If I said, hey, I went and bought five hamburgers today. Well, you would be able to look at this table and know absolutely with total confidence what was the price that I paid. So every element in the domain is only associated with one element in the range. Next, again, is this a function? Here's a set of ordered pairs. Each element in the domain is the x value of each of these ordered pairs, and the range value is the y value. Okay, is this a function? You've got five seconds. And the answer here 
is no. Well, why does it fail? It fails specifically because of these two points. If I input the value of 4, I either get negative 7 or I get 1. I'm not sure. It's one of the two, but I don't know. So a function only has a single element in the range associated with an element in the domain. And in this case, this is not a function because 4 is associated with both negative 7 and 1. Final question here. Again, is this a function? Take a look at this set of ordered pairs and tell me yes or no. You've got five seconds. Okay, here we go. What's the answer? Now, this one's a bit of a trick. It's yes, it is a function. And you may have been tricked by these two points over here. Okay. Well, first off, we know that two leads to four, so we're sure that's okay because there's no other element two that leads to anything else. Three leads to five and there's no conflict there. But these last two lead us to be a little bit suspicious. So let's talk about it. They share a result in the range of one. Okay, that's fine though. Because if I input the value of four, the only result I get is one. And if I input the value of five, the only result I get is one. In other words, for each element in the domain, 4 and 5, there is only one associated element in the range. The best approach to, doing, to studying this topic is to do a lot of examples. So I suggest you do the examples from the textbook to get used to answering this yes-no question.